very much. You're an engineer. Uh, how do you sort of make your voice heard in a male-dominated industry like that? We are 7% women engineers in the industry, so not great. How do you get your voice heard? It's all about confidence. Yeah. So I'm very often in a meeting with my design team and there'll be 18 men there and me. And it's an intimidating experience sometimes, but I think if you're well prepared, if you're confident, then you can come across really well. So it's actually a great positive. I've been working at WSP for about eight years now and I've got to work on the Shard um, with some very, very smart and creative people, which has been really, really good. We try to promote diversity in engineering because I think a lot of girls also don't realise that you can be part of the sort of larger industry and be an environmental consultant or a transport planner. There's so many different options that girls can consider. I'm intrigued to know whether fashion plays a part in that. Fashion is important for the person because if you feel that you're comfortable, that you're well dressed, that you come across professionally, then you'll be more confident. I love a good pencil skirt. I'm, oh, I'm a big, <laughs> I'm a big Audrey Hepburn fan, and oh. you know that kind of style is absolutely brilliant. And um, yeah, on site I wear hard hats and high vis jackets and the trousers and the boots, and I love that as well. I love going out on site and seeing things being built. So there's a big contrast there in the types of things I wear.